So welcome everybody. However you may be watching, wherever you may be watching, on your computer, mobile phone, wherever it is. I thank you guys for taking the time out to watch the show. Today I have a special, special guest for you. And this young lady, I had literally had to run and track her down in order to get her to get on this show. Her name is Bebe. So say hello, Bebe. Hello, everyone. So Bebe comes to us from the land down under, Australia, where they drink alcohol with Russell Crowe, and they enjoy headbutting kangaroos. <laughs> so have you been to that huge clamshell thing in the middle of the lake? The Sydney, the Sydney Opera first. House? Are you talking about the big white thing? Yeah, I think, I guess that's it, right? <laughs> yeah, the thing that looks like a bunch of seashells put together. Yeah. <laughs> I have been close to it. I have ran up those stairs, but I, yeah, I, unfortunately, I live in another state, so I don't, I can't always visit, so. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me about you. Okay, well, let's just see. I am a full-time nerd, I guess you could say. Even my, <laughs> I, I do YouTube. Uh, well, I started YouTube because I, I was in competitive, um, and we we wanted to do a, do a girls team, and we wanted We've to prove that girls could do just as good. Uh, and so, I, you know, I set up a channel so I could prove that girls could play just as good. Um, I, unfortunately, we didn't get, I guess, the. I guess the notice that we thought we wanted to get, um, so all the girls started to go their own ways, and I kind of loved gaming and uploading and stuff, so I stuck by my guns um, and kept doing my own sort of stuff. Um, yeah, and part I got parted with Machinima, and in real life I'm a content developer, so I'm a nerd in real life too. I work with computers, so you know it all sort of works out for me. <laughs> so for all you guys out there, if you want to get your butts handed to you then Bebe is probably the person that can do it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so today we are talking about cheating. We're talking about oh, cheaters, and, and we're talking about those who have been cheated on. So before we start, and let's get this out of the way, because it's happened to me. So Bebe, have you ever been cheated on? Yes, I have. <laughs> he was an idiot. <laughs> And it's happened to me, too, even with these dashing good looks that I have. <laughs> so now let's look at it from the other side. Have you ever been the cheater, the one that was cheating on the other person? I have been in the well, I've never actually done it, but I've been in the process of, I guess, that thought, the thoughts that come that counter uh steps before cheating so yeah i've been in that stage but i don't think i've yeah i've never actually done the cheat now in my own defense how do i put this i have cheated understandably I, but i have never cheated in a serious relationship <laughs> okay now when i was in the dating process and i'm talking to this person talking to that person then yeah i guess you can consider it cheating but I've never cheated when I was in a serious or long-term relationship. There are different types of cheating for different people, different relationships, emotional, physical, all that stuff. So what would you consider to be cheating? I think for me, if you start to realize that you're spending more time with this certain person, um, investing more time, um, thinking about or caring about or wanting to spend more time with another person rather than your own girlfriend, I think you're on the verge of already ha subconsciously making a decision that you could potentially cheat on your girlfriend. So you're talking about more on the emotional side, like the emotional side of cheating. Yes. So if they cheated emotionally, you think that would have more weight than physically? I think that would hurt me more emotionally. I'd have to agree. I think somebody that treats on you emotionally could have a greater impact. Emotion, yes. So speaking from a woman's perspective, uh, tell me, what would you think or what are some of the reasons why you think that women actually cheat? Boredom. Yeah, yeah. I think I think girls, girls can get bored. Um, people can get comfortable. 
kill um, and then, you know, guys, and then that, you know, that random guy that all of a sudden smells good. Because I think once you start living with someone, you get comfortable, you know, you forget the things that they did at the start, which is, you know, they smelled good, they looked good for you. Because let's face it, you know, you walk around with tracksuit pants and you don't take a shower every day. You know, you don't see your partner every time you're fresh and smelling. And I think, um, you know, they start, they stop to try and, um, you know, you forget the reason why you fall in love and that other person that walks past that looks good and smells nice and you're like, oh, you know, it's a familiar thing for you. Um, and I think the attention as well, um, you, know, you get unwanted attention from other people and all of a sudden you're like, but I don't get this. And you start to, I guess you start to um, compare and that's when it's really bad because you should think, well, why isn't my boyfriend giving me attention? Am I not trying as well? But people don't think that way. A lot of people just think, well, he doesn't give me the attention that I need and or I'm bored or... You know what I mean? Because I think that if it was a real reason, then you just leave your boyfriend and find another person. But instead you cheat. It's because I guess you're scared. So you want something new and fun. But instead of trying to relive it with your partner, you'll go and do it with someone else, which is kind of crap. Uh, which is very true. I don't think that, you know, once you're with somebody for so long, I don't think you try nearly as hard to be impressive. So, yeah, it is easier to notice somebody else who looks attractive or looks good as they walk by now for guys i think it's a little different um for us one i think a lot of guys cheat because of ego you know we're guys we like to compete so you know when guys get around and they pal around with each other that's what we talk about we talk about the girls that they've been with even though sometimes a lot of times it's a lie you know how many they've been with or who they're with um also i think another big one is that women allow the guys to cheat in the first place it's just simple you know a lot of times guys will cheat they'll forgive them the guy will cheat again they'll forgive them the guy will cheat. you know it's just one recurring cycle so a lot of times women are the enablers for why the guy will cheat it's like a game exactly exactly <laughs> So this is another thing that I heard. I don't think a lot of people have heard the same thing. But why are women considered to be better cheaters than a lot of men are? It's harder to think that a girl's a player because they'd be like, no, not her. But if you say, oh, this guy is, you know, cheating on his girlfriend or oh, whatever, <laughs> it's easier to, to believe that. Um, they love their movies and they'd be like, why can't I have someone like him? <laughs> and, you know, and try to search for that. But, um, He's so amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think it's society. So that's going to conclude part one, uh, the interview with Bebe. Uh, be on the lookout for part two, as always, and make sure you look for Bebe. She's hilarious. She's a great female gamer. She's funny. She's entertaining. So make sure you follow her on the Twitter and make sure you hit her up on Facebook and make sure you take a look at her videos there. She is a hilarious, wonderful person. So again, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, thanks a lot. One other thing. Uh, you don't say that. <laughs>